So we're going to use logarithmic differentiation to find dy dx, given the function y equals the square root of x squared minus 11, divided by the quantity x to the sixth times the square root of x squared plus 5. All right, so how do we do that? Take the natural log of y equals the natural log of this fraction of x squared minus 11 over x to the sixth times x squared plus 5. Now, using our logarithmic rules, Sorry, using our logarithmic rules, if you have a function, the, the logarithm of a over b, the same as the logarithm of a minus the logarithm of b. Um, and since these two bottom things are multiplied together, we would um, multiply both of them by negative 1 or make sure that they are both being subtracted from the thing in the numerator. So this is equal to the natural log of and instead of writing square roots, you'll see how I'm going to write this. I'm going to write it as x squared minus 11 to the 1 half. Make sure that you put the exponent inside the parentheses. Makes a difference. Um, minus the natural log of x to the sixth. Minus the natural log of x squared plus 5 to the one half. Okay, again, using logarithmic rules, we know if you have a logarithm such that you have log of a to the b, that's equal to b log of a, same with natural logarithm. So natural log of x squared minus 11 to the one half is equal to one half times the natural log of x squared minus 11 minus six times the natural log of x minus 1 half times the natural log of x squared plus 5. All right, so now we're ready to take the derivative. So the derivative of the natural log of y is equal to 1 over y times dy dx times 1 half the derivative of this is 1 over x squared minus 11 times the derivative of x squared minus 11, which is 2x. So times 2x minus 6 times 1 over x minus 1 half times 1 over x squared plus 5 times 2x, because 2x is the derivative of x squared plus 5. We can rewrite this. 1 half times 2x is just x times this. So we have x over x squared minus 11 minus 6 over x minus x over x squared plus 5. All right. So now we want to isolate dy dx. So we're going to multiply both sides by y. So we end up with dy dx equals x over x squared minus 11 minus 6x, I mean 6 over x minus x over x squared plus 5 times y. Um, again, not again, we're going to, we want only x and x's in this equation, so instead of writing y, we're going to simple um, substitute back in are given y. So we have, this is actually equal to x over x squared minus 11 minus 6 over x minus x over x squared plus 5 times the square root of x squared minus 11 divided by x to the sixth times x squared plus 5. So that's our answer.